Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers coming to you from the State Capitol Building in downtown Lansing. Our topic today is education funding. Joining me now to talk about it is Senate Majority Leader Randy Richardville, a Republican from the 17th District, which represents uh, all of Monroe and parts of Washtenaw and Jackson counties. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you, Laurel. It's nice to be here again. We talk about education funding all the time, and uh, there's folks wanting more funding for postgraduate education and folks who want more funding for preschool and, and zero through five education. And, and you're one of those guys that are trying to maintain and increase uh, sort of the funding and uh, what level of education we're giving to, uh, to preschool age children. Yeah, and we've been at this for a long time. Um, K-12 funding is the single biggest is um, uh, issue in our budget. It's uh, around $14 billion, something like that. And for this will be the fourth year in a row that we've increased spending on K-12 through um, education. Um, and this year it's going to be, I don't know, probably, well, it's, it's $700 million to date for the first three years. And we'll probably increase that by another $100 million, maybe more, this year. And uh, it's actually $700 per student, I should say that that way, it's a little more accurate. Um, but the big push over the last two years, and Governor Snyder has been the leader, is on early education funding. Uh, $65 million was added to the budget last year, and another $65 million this year, which makes us number one in the country in terms of educating our um, uh, youngest, most vulnerable children. These are children that usually are at risk from a social economic standpoint. Uh, and it's pre-kindergarten, uh, preschool, uh, great start programs, which require and involve a whole lot of people, parents and other community members involved in the schools, hands-on. It's one of the best expenditures that we make in terms of money actually going into the classroom uh, of anything that we do here in Lansing. How important is it? Uh, because you'll hear some folks say, you don't even need to go to preschool. You know, you, it, it's not mandatory in our state, so you pop your kid in kindergarten and all will be well, but studies have shown otherwise. Yeah, and that might be okay in some situations where the parents uh, are involved or you might have somebody, a stay-at-home parent, uh, and, and that's a great luxury to have. We're talking about uh, parenting where it's difficult, where there is uh, maybe a single mother uh, parenting uh, and you have social economic situations that make it so that um, students don't get a, a head start. And this program called Great Start is the one that I'm talking about, Monroe County, Jackson County, Washtenaw County, very successful and like I said, really involved with the parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles and I, I think that's a, a real important program. And we will be number one in the United States, Michigan is on early education funding. That's fantastic because Michigan doesn't come in first place often. So <laughs> yeah. uh, investing in our youngest citizens, I would imagine, and you know, we haven't had this funding going on for a long time, so we'll see the payoff in 10 years, um, but it's going to save money down the road if, if these kids are successful instead of struggling all their lives in school. Absolutely, and the earlier you get involved with these students, with these children, uh, the better off it is for them. It's easier to get them on the right track early than it is to try and find them in seventh, eighth grade when they haven't learned at the level that they should. Instead, we'll give them a head start on kindergarten, then when public schools take over, uh, they've got somebody who's ready to learn. Have you, has the program been around long enough to see results to hear from teachers, kindergarten, first grade teachers, while wow, this is making a difference? Oh yeah, and uh, I, um, I was involved with a program called Head Start, which is a federal program, long before I was elected into office. Um, that program is a good program, but it's a little more administration heavy than uh, ours here in Michigan. Michigan, like I said before, takes a lot of um, uh, volunteer times from parents and brings it right hands-on into the classroom with these young kids. All right, sounds like a wonderful program. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. It's always a good time. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Senate Majority Leader Randy Richardville, a Republican from the 17th District.